हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट होम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोरी दिस इज योर सेकंड पार्ट इन फर्स्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस फ्यू फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट द स्टोरी नेम ऑफ द स्टोरी इज ए टेल ऑफ टू वर्ड्स ए टेल ऑफ टू वर्ड्स इन फर्स्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस दैट हाउ टू बेबी बार्ड्स बिगेम सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम हिज मदर एंड इच अदर ऑल्सो बाय ए स्टॉम ओके एंड दे एंड आफ्टर द स्टॉम दे सेपरेटेड सेपरेटेड एंड हाउ दे लर्न बाय गॉड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंपनी ऑफ पीपल and in this in this chapter in this video we will discuss something more about the story okay let's start welcome sir he said to the king please come in inside and come yourself make yourself at home you look tired Rest for a while, then you can share my food. When the Rishi came to the ashram, he told to the ki- king that, "Welcome, sir. I welcome you to my ashram. That you are looking tired, so you take rest a while, and <coughs> then you can share my food." The king, the king told the Rishi, the story of two words and how each had behaved so differently, though they looked so alike. About those two words, the king told whole story to the Rishi that how even those two words are looks alike, but they have different behavior. Yes or no? The story is full of surprise. He said. The holy man smiled and said, "After all, one is known by the company one keeps. That bard has always heard the talk of robbers. He imitates them and." Talks about robbing people. This one has repeated what he has always heard. He welcomes people to the ashram. Now come inside and rest. I will tell you more about this place and these birds. The holy man, the holy man, the wise man, listened. the thinking style listen the thought of the king and he smiled and said that if anyone behaved like a good good person then he may he must be live in a good people he must be get some good people of accompany yes or no that means the bard has always heard the the bard which talked like talked a bad, talked in a bad manner he got he heard every day talk of robbers that's why he also behaved like a robbers talked like a robbers but this bard is lived with us lived with ashram he listen good things good words that's why he always welcome to all people who are coming to the ashram come inside rishi said to the king come inside i will tell you more about the this palace this place and about this bars this is whole story i think you understand this story better 
now we are going to discuss some important question answer from this chapter okay your first question is how did the two baby birds get separated the two baby birds lived in a tall tree with his mother one day a big storm blew the tree became down the mother bird was killed the strong wind blew the two chick away chicks away to the other side of this forest at a little distance from each other though they got separated from each other next one is where did each of them find a home one of the young birds came down near a cave a gang of robbers where a gang of robbers were lived one of the one of the young birds came down near a cave a gang of robbers lived there the other bird landed outside the ashram of a rishi at a little distance okay your third question is what did the first bird say to the stranger the first bird say the stranger stranger means to the king he called the robbers to hurry off and rob the man of his jewels and his horse indirect indirectly he asked the stranger to leave the place at ho- at once what did the second bird say to him the second bird welcomed the king to the ashram he requested the stranger to drink water take rest and make himself comfortable he added that his brother lived in the company of robbers so he talked like them okay next one next one is your how did the rishi explain the different ways in which the two birds behaved the king told the rishi about the different behavior of the two birds the rishi explained that the first bird repeated the words of the robbers but the second bird repeated what he said always here at the ashram the different ways were the result of their company which one of the following sums of the story is best a bird in hand is worth two in the bush one is known by the company one keeps a friend in need is a friend indeed one is known by the company one keeps in this story we discussed many things that if we got company of good people then we will behave like a good man good people we will learn good good behavior good our manner will be good but if we got some bad manner people then our behavior and manner will be bad we will learn from them in which surrounding that is matter in which surrounding we are living with with which type of people we are living yes or no that's all about today's class i hope you understand this class better this story and question answer better thank you